good morning, Year 6, and happy Tuesday. Let's have a look what we've got today. So you've got another warm-up, um, some more reading of Wolf Brother, some TT Rockstars, um, maths, spelling, a writing task, and some more transition work. So as usual, set yourself a time limit, agree with your parents what, or adults at home what they think is a good time limit for each unit. I've given some suggestions suggested ones down the side gosh can't get my words out today i've got some suggested time limits down the side i have a chat to your adults at home how long should you spend on each one set a timer and have a break in between as always here is a list of additional um places that you can go if you would like any extra bits to do so here is your warm-up for today have a think about primary school um, your time at Redbrook or your time if you've not been with Redbrook for the whole time of, you've been at primary school your whole primary school time what have you learned what has surprised you most what have you learned that you thought you would never learn and what are the most important skills or things you've learned and what has helped you learn best so have a few moments write a few notes down in your book have a little think a proper reflection on the time you spent at primary school Okie dokie, so reading today, we are moving on to chapter nine, if you're following our reading of Wolf Brother. Remember, the text is a separate PDF on the Redbrook Hayes Year 6 home learning page. Here are some questions to do with chapter nine. So following on from what I said earlier in the video, that time limit that you set with your adults for your reading, sit down and read from where you are in the book. If you have extra time within that time limit, have a go at some of these questions. And the answers are found on the Padlet page. So we've got answers to all this week's questions on Padlet. So enjoy. OK, my lovelies, 20 minute TT Rockstar break. Um, set yourself a time for 20 minutes to complete several games on there, which doesn't include time for shopping. Um, do that after if you want to get a new Outlook, um, Outlook outfit or something for your avatar. Do that after you've done some games. I can see who logs on and has a go at these. Um, so impress me. Show me your fabulously fast times tables. If you're unable to access TT Rockstars, um, I've got some fluency questions on the next page for you. So you can pause that and have a go at those in your book instead. Or if you need your um, password re-email and over to you, just send me an email to the year six um, address and I will send you one back as quick as I can. And here are today's um, fluency questions. So if you can't get onto TT Rockstars for whatever reason, have a go at these in your book. Okay, maths. So if you didn't watch yesterday's video, it's a little bit different. We are now going to be doing maths through Khan Academy whilst we are doing some distance learning. So if you haven't signed up yet to Khan Academy, there are some instructions that will follow and you need this code here. If you have signed up to Khan Academy yesterday, you will have a task today from myself. So if you log on to your Khan Academy um, user, there will be a task up there for you to have a go at. So enjoy. So um, when you go to that website, it will take you to a screen that looks like this. You simply need to click on learners um, and it will then bring up this screen. So you're joining Khan Academy as a learner um, and don't worry about this bit. Um, you just need to click this button here, enter a class code. So from there, you need to add our class code, which is there. And then you need to click on the button add. At this point, you need to check it says this. So our screen should say then Miss Tucker's year six class. If it doesn't say that, you've entered the wrong code. So you need to remove that code and try again. If it does say Miss Tucker's class, then you can go ahead and click on create a new account. So when you're on create a new account, you can continue with Google, but it's actually so much easier to just sign up by choosing a username. This way you don't have to enter an email, so you don't get loads of spam coming through your email inbox. Um, and it's nice and quick and easy. So if you're signing up with a username, you just need to choose a username. Um, it does say on here, don't use your real name. So if your name is 
I don't know, Sebastian Smith. Don't use Sebastian Smith because that's your full name and you're putting it out on the internet. Think again, like we said, you know, when we talk about internet safety, don't spread your full name everywhere. But I would like you to try and use either one of your nicknames or something so I know it's you, so I know who's who. If you've used a completely obscure name, that's absolutely fine. Might just be helpful though to drop me an email to year six at redbrookhays.staffs.sch.uk and let me know what your username is so I know who's who when I'm looking at them. Because otherwise, if your name is, I don't know, SpongeBob SquarePants as your username, love it, brilliant. But if somebody's really struggling with something, I can't offer them extra help then because I don't know who I need to email or get in contact with. So just let me know. If it's a really obscure name, just let me know your username. Then you need to create yourself a password, a nice safe password that's just yours and don't give it um, to anybody else. Maybe your parents, in case you're like me and you lose it, forget it, but don't send it amongst the rest of the class or to anybody outside of our class. So from there, it brings you into this screen and you need to click on, if it doesn't bring this little pop-up box up straight immediately, you do need to click on courses. And when you're on courses, you need to select, ooh, just put a line through it, grade six or year six, okay? And then click continue. And from there, um, you need to select the arithmetic box. Um, there are other ones as well if you want to add on to those, but um, we'll just be going through the arithmetic. And if you would like to, select the grammar box. Now, if you want to go on and use the scroll bar to see what else is available, you can do. These are all um, courses that are completely free. So when you've selected your courses, you then click continue with two courses or however many you've got. And that then will bring you up to this. So for the first day, um, I can't set any work to anybody because I haven't got any students. So on your first day of logging in, um, I can't set you a task. So your first task on the first day is to choose one. So um, maybe start with something nice and simple like addition and subtraction. Um, and that takes you through a course. So set yourself a time limit, Set get your phone or your tablet or I don't know, an egg timer of 45 minutes or an hour or do half an hour now and then half an hour later. Set yourself a time limit and work through these lessons. They give you videos and explanations, then a few practice questions and then a little mini test to test your skills at the end. So take your time, go through. They're really, really helpful. And like I said, they're a great tool to have in your belt when you're going up to high school and you need a bit of extra time or um, want to give yourself a bit of extra learning. Um, it's a really, really good website. So today's learning is to choose one lesson and have a go at one or to have a go at 45 minutes worth of a lesson. Um, and then from then on, I can then set you tasks on a daily basis that you will find in your um, account under this teacher's bit. So I hope that was informative and I hope that makes sense. Um, let me know how you get on. OK, guys, before you start practicing today's words, see if you can remember how to write the word navigation. See if you can remember how to write the word thoughtful. And what about the word offered? Check your spelling of these um, from your work yesterday. And if you're happy with that, then move on to today's three words. Muscle, curiously and courage. Have a go at practicing for 15 minutes. Then try and use them all in one sentence in your book and then ask someone at home to test you on these spellings. Good luck. Today's writing task. So we are staying with our little story theme from yesterday. Here is a picture of a tiny, tiny door with a tiny, tiny set of stairs just above the skirting board at the bottom of a wall. You're going to imagine that one day you find this door in the corner of your room. What are you going to do? Who do you think uses such a tiny, tiny door? And where does it go? My challenge for you is to write a short story, no longer than three pages in a book, about finding this door and going on a little adventure. If you really love your story and you've got a good copy of it, why not upload it to Padlet so everyone else can have a look and enjoy your writing too? I look forward to reading them. OK, guys, today's transition activity. So now when you move on to secondary school, 
you'll start to need to bring your own equipment to class. So there won't be a big spare stationary tray or um, pens and pencils and pencil cases given out to you. You've got to bring the majority of your stuff with you. So what I'd like you to do now is thinking back to the activities that we looked at yesterday where we talked about the different subjects. I want you to look at these pieces of equipment down the side and try and match them to the subjects in this column that you might need them for. You might need some of these objects for more than one lesson as well. So have a little think and try and match them up. See if an adult or an older sibling can give you a hand with the answers at the end. Now, task two, imagine you have the following subjects tomorrow. Maths, home economics, also known as food tech, woodwork, French and art. You need to think because every day you're gonna have a new set of subjects. So the night before you go to school, you need to look at your plan of what's going on in your timetable for the next day and pack your bag so you're prepared for school. Because in the morning, you might be running late, you might sleep through your alarm, so you need that bag ready to go. So it's a really, really good habit to get into to keep yourself organised at school. I know some of us in year six are not the most organised enough to lose things and don't have things when we need them. At primary school, we're quite lenient, but at high school, you know, they expect a bit more from you. You're a little bit older, you need to be a little bit more organised. So it's a really good habit to get into thinking, right, what do I need for this subject? What do I need for this one? Make sure they're all in your bag. And then I always find I sleep better as well, knowing that my bag is ready for the next day. So have a little think and make a list. Um, you, if you print this out, you can do it in this box or just make a list in your book of what you will need in your bag for that day. And then if you can think of what will you need every day? What are some things that will stay in your bag every single day? Have a think and then talk about your answers with a parent or an older sibling and see what they would add as well or any things that they think you might not need. OK, have a good day and I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye, year six.